I would start going back to where how uh, a good smart specialization strategy should be designed. In that, uh, a smart specialization strategy uh, or a smart specialization strategy process uh, is a process where you anchor your regional innovation strategy uh, in the needs of regional stakeholders. In where you, as a regional developer who often leads these processes, interact strongly with the regional stakeholders in the development of the strategy. So you carry out something called the entrepreneurial discovery process, which is that together with companies and uh, academia and different kind of uh, non-governmental organizations, you pinpoint, first of all, what are the priority areas where we uh, think that we have a possibility to create the future growth areas. But also in these processes, uh, there's a key thing to identify what are the things we need to do in these areas. Uh, we need, do we need to set up some kind of a, a prototype lab or there some kind of uh, contractual research that needs to be done? Uh, is there some kind of competence build-up that we need to do? What kind of activities do we need to do in order to develop this area? And part of that, for sure, has international components. Because when you go down these roads for specialization, first of all, you will have uh, more specialized regions, but also regions today are interacting in global networks. So regions as such are not big enough to hold entire value chains. First of all, if you specialize, you want to have bigger markets. You need to export and sell outside of your region. But it also comes to the suppliers of how the input, both from research side, but also company side, going into these projects. So we're living in a more global network. It also comes into regional policy that it needs to become more global. And uh, then going into this of identifying uh, uh, what to be done in the region using the multiple stakeholders also pinpoints to the to the international network. So uh, I think that it helps regions in collaborating in more adequate things, looking for what is there is a true need for what. Uh, so it's actually these kind of uh, partnerships that should decide what are we going to collaborate on, and that gives the strategic input. So I think it's tr uh, regions will spend their time better working with more needed activities in collaborating. Uh, giving focus to the activities carried out. Uh, and I think here's what smart specialization contributes both to the regional but also from a European perspective. So uh, regions are working on, on more needed and adequate things. In quite a few regions, they don't have the experience of working international, to be honest. And some of the regions previously have been participating in things where you have specific EU officials, but the people working with innovation issues I've not been doing that because they have been working uh, locally. So there is in many places there is a lack of experiences on how to work with these kind of issues uh, internationally. That's one thing. And, uh, and I think also to some extent, and I think we're in a breaking point here, is that we have previously had uh, more of a, a call approach where there are calls being put up and where you make a call, come into your application for this kind of specific purpose. And then in the region you try to assemble some people to come together and write an application to have the funds. Now uh, there's a bit of a more, another way of maybe thinking more strategic and enabling and saying, uh, with together with partnerships, what do we need to do? And where can we find funding in order to do it? So I think there's a shift here in mentality which can also be a bit complicated. And then there is always also, since we are in this kind of changing point, are the political levels in regions uh, okay with this? Or do they want to continue as they've been doing before? To We have the funds, we ship it out in our region. So there's a, there's a need of a shift of mentality and also to uh, in order to do this. And then there's the question, is there a political commitment to it? Is there a stakeholder commitment to it? So there's a, there's a lot of challenges related to this. The benefit, I would say, once again, is that I think that we will hopefully be doing uh, maybe more relevant and more targeted efforts that are based more on true uh, regional needs.